3. DIY Homemade Submarines Number 3. DIY Steel Drum Submarine Built in 2008, Tao Jiangli built this 21-foot single-passenger submarine for just over $4,600. While a submarine built for under 5 grand may seem cheap, but considering the area of China that Tao Jiangli lives in, this is around one year's salary for someone. He built this submarine out of refashioned metal barrels and spare parts from thrift stores and second-hand markets. The submarine weighs one ton and has headlights, pressure meters, oxygen supply, monitoring cameras, and a TV set. Tao has only tested this submarine in landlocked waters in Beijing and hasn't been able to test the submarine at its full depth of 10 meters or 32 feet. He's paid for this hobby, if you can call it that, by working at a karaoke bar. Interesting story, shows that if you work hard and put your mind to something, you can really achieve it. Number 2. The Subo Kayak Submarine Olivier Fluet, an experienced kayaker, decided one day that kayaking on top of the water was just not exciting anymore, which is where he got the idea for the kayak submarine. This submarine doubles as a functional kayak when you want to enjoy the sun and a seaworthy submarine to get those awesome underwater views. Once the hinged hatch is sealed, an oxygen tank provides all the oxygen needed for a journey under the sea. A CO2 filter can be used as well to extend the Subo's air supply up to 3 hours. Now you must be thinking, how does he paddle the kayak when he's underwater, right? Well, Olivier built in a rudder that moves like a whale or fish fin that is human powered. The major downside to this is the harder you work at powering the rudder, the more oxygen you waste in the cabin. What do you guys think? Cool DIY submarine or potential underwater coffin? Number 1. Drainage Pipe Submarine Justin Beckerman built the Nautilus, a single person scrap part submarine. The sub came together from scavenged parts like an abandoned soda fountain machine he found in a parking lot. He pulled out the air compressed regulator and other smaller parts from his parking lot find. The 18 year old wanted to build a personal submarine to travel around Lake Hopatcong in New Jersey. This is actually the second submarine Justin has built. The first one was just too cramped, so the second version he convinced his parents to buy a section of 2 foot wide, 8 foot long drainage pipe so he could sit upright with his legs extended. This sub is entirely built with no welding, everything is put together with glue and screws and can dive to 9 meters or 30 feet. A skylight made of a quarter inch thick acrylic was added to the top as well as a 10 gallon plastic water containers which were added as ballast tanks for stability and the ability to raise or lower the submarine in the water. The sub uses a four-way splitter to supply air to each one of the tanks and solenoid valves to control the compressor to the air pump. A trolling motor gives this submarine life or the ability to move through the water. It took six months to design and build the submarine at a cost of around $2,000. After first testing the sub in the bathtub, then a handful of tests in the lake, Justin was able to submerge the sub for 30 minutes in a deeper section of the lake while being able to communicate with his parents by running a radio antenna to a float. His first problem occurred while testing the sub when he quote, ran out of Oreos in the deep lake. Yeah, that's not a real problem. What do you guys think of these homemade submarines? Which one scares you the most to get in it? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 